Welcome back, everybody, for Game 5 of Week 1 of the Draft Premier League between Wiggly Tufts Guild and Legion of Boom. This is an Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire game, so Gen 6. And we have our captain, King L5. You guys should know him if you've been following my channel recently. He's, uh, he's somebody that I mention a lot and that I've even played in a, in a recent video for quarterfinals. And we have him against Professor Chipboard. Chip is somebody that is, uh, is well regarded in the community as being a very solid player uh, overall across multiple formats so this should be a challenging one but let's hop right into the game and let's see how l5 did so l5 is going to lead off with roserade and catch a signal beam immediately from the zapdos now this is gen 6 zapdos so we're not going to see hurricane or anything like that but that signal beam does a really good amount of damage 28 percent to our uh, to our roserade obviously it's non-stab non-super effective all that so uh, this should key in or clue in l5 that this zapdos is actually pretty offensive latias is going to switch in here zapdos does have heat wave so he ends up catching this correctly but he does get burned as a result which is actually very big in gen 6 uh, as that does 12 percent so that's that's pretty big that's essentially like being poisoned every turn so burning moves are insane here uh and heat wave catches the immediate 10 percent burn now latias is going to go for a psychic here so l5 is actually going to pull a switch here into manaphy now realizing that the zapdos is actually faster than latias catches the signal beam here and revenges the uh or just kills the zapdos with an ice beam so that's pretty big didn't take too much damage across the the team against the zapdos but it did kind of do its job now lopany comes in here to revenge the Manaphy and uh, Manaphy is going to switch out into Roserade and this is pretty important here. Our Roserade takes 55% from high jump kick and it actually is Rocky Helmet. It, it chips it away but in prep we had mentioned uh, potentially putting Poison Point on Roserade. I think that L5 ended up keeping uh, whatever other ability he was. I don't remember if it was a uh, technician or natural cure, but I'm pretty sure we were not poison point. And as a result, this Lopini is free to click attacks into us. And it's taking the Rocky Helmet chip, obviously, which is nice, but it's not taking additional residual which can be pretty important here and then return is going to come out it's going to knock us out doesn't risk the high jump kick miss obviously uh ends up chipped for about 33 percent and crocodile comes in to revenge this strongly telegraphs that we are choice scarfed obviously and uh, we're going to get up rocks instead so uh not going to reveal if we were choice scarfed necessarily but we did get up rocks there so it could kind of go either way right we could also be choppel there's a lot of different things that the crook could be there but anyway man if he comes in on the seismitoad the rocks go up and then Manaphy is in and it's able to go for a Psychic into the Tentacruel and does 47%, which is exactly what the Cruel is at. And this is a pretty offensive Manaphy, as you can see, and it's able to two-hit KO the Tentacruel. We kind of expected like a more specially defensive Tentacruel to deal with Manaphy, like either AV Mirror Coat or something like that. Uh, haze, potentially, is like full spadef Haze, but it ends up dying to two Psychics, which I was kind of surprised about, and I thought we were actually in the driver's seat. But L5 ends up sacking off the Manaphy here, which I think is a mistake, as Manaphy looks to be super strong into the rest of the team. Yes, we didn't have great switch-ins, but we had a burned Latias at 63%, which I thought didn't do too much here because it's outsped by Lopany and it has to like waste turns recovering into Scizor. Scizor can still be like Aukaberry for HP fire, stuff like that, right? So uh, that's a little bit annoying, but Crook's gonna end up com in, coming in here. Uh, Seismitoad switches in, takes a superpower and uh, takes 26%, not much at all, and ends up being Rocky Helmet. We're gonna switch into Electros here and catch a knockoff, lose our other helmet that we had on the team, had one on Roserade, one on Electros, and uh, then the uh, Lopini is going to come in on Coil, and uh, it's going to end up going for Encore. So it ends up being Encore here. I'm not going to reveal what set we are, but anyway, we take a return, go for another Coil here, and take another return, and Eel is essentially dead this next turn. It's not dead to return, but the Encore ends, and uh, Crook comes in on the follow-up Encore, uh, which ends up being quite nice there. And uh, then we're going to go for Superpower, and I believe to hit KO the Seismitoad here. Uh, and Lando's going to switch in instead and get off an Intimidate drop. And we're going to go for another Superpower and uh, not do too much there. Eel switches in as Lando's free to U-turn. There's not much that can take it on the team. Our Lopney still isn't even Mega Evolved. Crocodile comes in for the Revenge Kill on the Lop. Uh, it ends up going for the Fake Out. We take 19% and Seismitoad switches in right after. As we go for Superpower, we knock that out. But of course, we are now at 14 percent and Lando is free to revenge kill us if it is also a uh, choice scarf or even just defensive we're locked into superpower at that point but anyway they go for a u-turn on our Lopany uh, we end up keeping our crook they end up faking us out and being faster uh, Scizor comes in as we go for a healing wish to get our Latias back in at full 
uh, and go for HP Fire, but they do end up being Akaberry on the Scizor, and Bug Bite is going to put us into Bullet Punch range. And uh, we actually had a third helmet on the team. It was on Latias, as you can see. Uh, but Crook comes in. It's going to get revenge by Bullet Punch. Now, I think uh, there were other routes here at the end that L5 could have taken to secure this game. Mainly, uh, either like clicking an attacking move with Eel on the switch into Lopany, knowing that Seismitoad probably wasn't going to stay in to try to 1v1 it. We could have been Giga Drain. There's lots of things that we could have been there, right? So I don't think that clicking Coil there was necessarily correct. Obviously, you want a potential setup turn, but we had discussed Encore Megalop in prep, specifically for Manaphy, like on the Tail Glow turn or the Calm Mind turn. So... L5 knew that this was a possibility, and I think that when Lopany switched hard in, he should have maybe considered switching out, uh, but I think just clicking the attacking move off rip would have been the correct play. There's a lot of things that I think that L5 could have done differently here, but ultimately we end up with a 3-2 and two record on the week after uh, a loss to Professor Chipboard. GG's to uh, Legion of Boom on this one. This was very well prepped and played, and I think we could have done a little bit better here, but overall still a solid game, and we'll see where the rest of the week takes us. But make sure to like the video, subscribe if you haven't already, if this is your first time on the channel, or otherwise you're not going to want to miss the rest of the game from this week we've got three more coming for you we're going to cap it off on sunday with two games two videos uh, including my game so you guys get to see that last you're not going to want to miss that to see the uh the, the end result of how week one ended so make sure to do that and i will catch you guys tomorrow peace